Friends, 45 days ago, we decided that we were going to serve our girls even during this pandemic. We've put in hours of teletherapy. We've put in hours of academic tutoring. We've connected with schools. We've found services for families who are in crisis. But I'm not going to lie, this has been incredibly challenging. We also canceled our largest fundraiser of the year. And we've seen our girls become in more dangerous situations. We've had girls overdose. We've had girls engage in illicit uh, substances. We've even had girls disappear. And we desperately need our community right now on Giving Tuesday. Uh, this virus has the ability to um, impact the most vulnerable in our population, um, not just physically with the virus, but also um, through unemployment, access to food, access to technology, access to school. And so for us, it was really important that Corral stepped up and stepped in to fill in those gaps for our families so that when August comes and the girls are hopefully back in school, they won't be even farther behind than they already were, that they'll be ready for school academically, socially, and emotionally. When virtual programming first began, many of the girls didn't have internet or computers at their house. So Corral has been providing laptops, printers, and hotspots so that they can access our virtual services and so they can access school. But the obstacle doesn't stop there. Many of parents are still at work or they have multiple kids in the home to watch over. So finding a quiet space in order to study or to work with our mental health professionals on staff has still been a struggle. Hi, my name is Sharda Jones and the coronavirus has affected my family in many ways. I feel like I can't provide or feed my family properly as usual for this. I can't work for my income. The Corral program has helped me and my family a lot. Provided pampers, food, they even helped my kids with their education because it was not allowed. It was one of the families that was unfortunate enough to have internet for them to continue schooling. And I just want to say thank you a lot. They have access to telehealth online so they can meet with our counselor whenever they need to. Uh, and another cool space that we're really excited about is our equine specialist actually goes to the farm with her video camera and does a virtual equine assisted psychotherapy session. So our licensed professional counselor, licensed with the state of North Carolina, hops on the call with the girls while we're streaming the work with the horse and is able to facilitate an equine assisted psychotherapy session during that time. Um, that connection to the horses, the girls are really loving and it's really cool to hear them even virtually connect with the lessons um, about relationship that are happening in the arena and you know, extrapolating information from that and learning and growing even when they can't physically be on the farm. So we're inviting you, our community, to take part in Giving Tuesday now and help us continue to serve our girls during these unprecedented and very difficult times. We absolutely need you to serve some of the most vulnerable children in our community right now.